This is Robert Wright. He's a registered nurse here for hyperbaric oxygen treatment. Hi, Robert. How's it going? Hi, Alan. Pretty good, man. Uh, go ahead and tell us your story if you like. Okay. Uh, last year in 2006, I was diagnosed with cancer of the tonsil, of the right tonsil, and that spread to the lymph nodes of my SCA muscle, my sternotyroid mastoid muscle. As a result, I had my tonsil removed, I had my sternotyroid mastoid muscle removed, and I had radiation to the right side of my face. Now, a side effect of radiation is what they call osteoradio necrosis, in which your bone mass breaks down because the blood vessels going to your mandible dies and therefore no oxygen gets there. What the oxygen does now with this hyperbaric therapy is that uh, it floods the area with 100% oxygen under atmospheric pressure with the result that the small, small blood vessels that aren't used in the normal case get activated and flood the whole area with oxygen, hoping that it will reverse the side effects of the therapy, of the radiation therapy, and aid in the reconstruction of the uh, bone mass. And that is a very good reason. I've done all the research. And being a registered nurse, I had access and knew how to access all the research on the matter. Well, how many treatments have you had uh, up till now? Uh, last year, I had about 20 treatments. And uh, this year, so far, I've had about um, 13, I believe. Have you noticed any improvements in your condition? It's hard to tell unless you actually have an x-ray. But I've noticed more flexibility. In my mandible, I give myself also massages to stir the area up and to circulate the uh, blood flow. So it, 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 it's known to help that condition quite a bit. So yes. you, you found some improvement, eh? Yes, well, definitely. And also in the research also clearly points that out. And hyperbaric oxygen, I may add, is not only used for radiation, it's also used for uh, diabetes and lots of other conditions and hospitals in various parts of the world actually use hyperbaric therapy. Okay, thanks a yeah. lot. No, yeah, that's okay. Talk to you later. Bye -bye. Today is May 29th, 2007. This is Robert Wright. Robert Wright is a registered nurse. Robert Wright is here. Uh, he just completed a 30-hour treatment protocol of hyperbaric oxygen therapy. This is his second block of hyperbarics. He's done hyperbarics before. Um, Robert Wright is here for osteoradionecrosis following radiation treatment for cancer that he had in his neck. And um, just uh, let us know how you feel today. I feel great, actually. That's good. And uh, lots of energy, lots of vigor. Um, with the ORN, the osteoradionecrosis, what we're looking for is an improvement in the x-ray. And we haven't had a follow-up x-ray yet, but we're looking forward to it. Yeah. Um, outside of uh, the x-ray, can you comment on any sort of uh, uh, changes, improvements, differences that you've noticed in anything else while you've been here? Well, just a state of well-being, basically. Um an improvement in vitality and I'm just waiting for the x-ray which is going to come next month after I, I have a doctor's operation um, after I have, I have a doctor's appointment with an x-ray and that's going to be a benchmark in which we can tell by comparing it with previous x-rays so that's what we're waiting for and the way that I feel I'm sure that it's going to be a positive outcome great great are you satisfied with your experience here at uh, Richmond Hyperbarics? I am extremely satisfied. Service has been excellent and the staff has been wonderful. Great. Any closing remarks? I recommend Hyperbaric for all those people who may need it. Uh, you can find out about Hyperbaric by just going onto Google and, uh, and there's lots of information about it. Great. Thank you very much. You're very welcome.